exhibition um, really focuses on how fashion designers are trying to resolve the handmade and the machine made in their creative process. Apple sponsoring the exhibition um, and Anna Wintour made the connection uh, between the museum and Apple and it was genius, you know, it's the most perfect sponsor for an exhibition on fashion and technology but beyond that, Apple is really about craft which is what the show is about. You know, it's, of course it's about technology but it's all about how the hand and the machine are coming together and the idea of craftsmanship and how craftsmanship plays a role within the creative process at Apple. So in many ways, you know, uh, philosophically, they're the perfect partner for the exhibition. We announced the show last September or October because the Manus Ex Machina. I think people ex expect it to be based on um, Ex Machina, the movie, and, and it, really, it was really inspired by Fritz Lang's Metropolis, which is this sort of dialectical treatise between the hand and the machine. And it just got me thinking about how technology and fashion um, it, often fashion is one of the first art forms to accept innovations in technology. You think about the Jacquard loom and the, the sewing machine and now 3D printing. Uh, but to me, in fashion, there's a more romantic side to, to technology and often the, most, the more compelling manifestations of technology in fashion are often invisible. There was one piece in Chanel's Haute Couture collection that also was an inspiration. It was actually a wedding dress, and traditionally wedding dresses close the couture, and they're also the most traditional garments within a fashion presentation. But Carl had managed to invest the wedding dress with so many different hand and machine techniques. So the actual dress was made from scuba knit. Uh, it was all machine sewn. And then the train um, was a combination of both the hand and the machine. It was sketched by hand and then it was transferred, printed by machine and then hand embroidered by Lesage. And the whole process took 450 hours. When the model came down the runway, she looked, she looked completely super, super high tech in this sort of like basically a neoprene wedding dress. So I love that sort of um, coming together, the hand of the machine. So that was really one of the inspirations for the exhibition. In terms of the future, the future of 3D printing, to me, I think it has the biggest potential out of any of the new technologies. I mean, the idea of being able to 3D print a suit or a dress entirely customised to your body, to me, that's what Haute Couture is about. So we're not there yet, but I think that the possibility of 3D printing is enormous. What's holding it back in fashion is the materials, I think. At the end of the day, fashion has to be functional. It has to be something that works on the body. I'm not a great fan of technology as an end product in itself. Uh, I love how technology is an enabler within the creative process.